Well, Erica, there are a lot of questions still to be answered here uh, at this row house in Philadelphia. We saw this fire happen this morning, leading to those tragic deaths that you mentioned. And one of the biggest questions is how many people were in this house and why they were in this house. This is a house owned by the Housing Authority here in Philadelphia. 26 people were inside. That was, uh, there were uh, eight in the first apartment and 18 in the second apartment. Two apartments, 26 people in all. And the Housing Authority is saying they're still trying to figure out why that many, that many people were in the building. They're investigating that. They acknowledge that number might be too high. And then you mentioned how fast the fire moved and how much damage it was able to do. And what we're learning about that so far, and we're still waiting for more information on that, but what we're learning so far is that there were smoke detectors in the house, six smoke detectors that we know of, and four of them were not operable. So you can imagine what a situation that is. A crowded house, small row house, fire breaks out. Maybe there's no warning. I can tell you standing here right now on the scene, you can smell it. You can smell what this fire was like. You can see just the damage to the building and how scorched it is. And you can see that this street that it's on is kind of frozen in time. There's trash out to be picked up in the morning. Just a normal morning rocked by an absolutely huge fire. One of the firefighters here on the scene earlier today talked about what it was like to deal with and just how bad this fire actually was. The fire was extinguished and It was a ter it was terrible. Uh, most uh, I've been around for 30, 35 years now, and this is probably one of the worst fires I've ever been to. Now, Erica, you can hear that emotion in that firefighter's voice, and that's why people want to know just what happened here. And we still can't even get in the house, according to authorities. They're still waiting for some equipment that can let them get in this house. They're hoping that they can start to answer some of these questions, get to the bottom of what led to this absolutely horrible tragedy here in Philadelphia, Erica.